Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Thursday, Tiny Corp evening. I think it's Thursday. We got some ice cream, boys. We got ice cream and banana. We got a spin drift. Um, we got a keto Rolls Royce. We got a phone. We got everything we need. Mm. Um... Bo Burnham, the world works. Oh, yeah. You know, you guys know the song? Hey, everybody, look who stopped by to say hello. It's Socko! With Socko. Hey! Where you been, Socko? I've been where I've always been when you're not wearing me on my hand in a frightening little space of being, not quite dead, not quite alive. It's similar to a constant state of sleep paralysis. Oh, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> uh, all right, so again, we're gonna do some FMAs. We're gonna do some micro benchmarks tonight. Okay, so. Um, first we can start with why. Oh, I also, I put a new blog post out. Um, it's about wokeism. And, you know, it's, it's not like, oh, uh, you, you know, hopefully you guys know I'm not, um, I'm not pro-wokeism, I'm not anti-wokeism. Uh, I like to think of myself politically as, you know, there's a wave and I'm gonna surf, whatever it is, man. You always got, you always gotta surf because if you try to punch the wave, you lose. And that's why you shouldn't be an activist because all activists are doing is punching the wave. Even worse than activists are right wing activists. And the worst kind of activists. You know. At least if you're a left-wing activist, you're punching the wave from behind. Right-wing activists are punching the wave, you know, from the front. Uh, so, yeah, you guys can check out my new blog post. Um, I am not an activist. I've never, that's the most terrible thing you can ever accuse me of being. Please tell me what kind of activist I am. What do I advocate for? Where can you find my blog? Just go to geohot.com and click on the link that says blog. Um, bro, bro, the pirate flag... It was definitely not there for any political reason. It was just a cheap decoration that I think looks cool on Amazon. That is how the world works. Um, yo, I am an activist for Andy Drake. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, look. I'm sorry if this is copyrighted, but um. This is this is the best song I've heard in like forever. Okay, it can't be that copyrighted. Come on. Like like like, like. This song goes out to people who play golf. Smoking cigarettes when I get sad just hit the ritual. Drinking monster energy like it's a fucking ritual. You know these spells. I didn't see your mom last night because I don't kiss and tell. Yo, if you, uh, uh, if you, uh, I haven't heard this, this, this song, man. I didn't see your mom last night because I don't kiss and tell. Um, no, but we're, we're doing stuff tonight. You can't just, oh man, things have been, I've been working a lot at Tiny Corp lately. Um, so this morning, I was going to stream it for you, but this morning I got my Matrix Multiply in CUDA 
to be 20 teraflops. Now here's a little interesting fun fact. That same matrix multiply in OpenCL is only nine teraflops. So why do I get 20 in CUDA and nine in OpenCL? Um, that's a great mystery to, uh, to figure out. But more importantly and relevant for the now is when I run the same didn't see your mom last night because I don't kiss and tell. When I run the same kernel on uh, M1, I get 3.6 teraflops. And you might think 3.6 teraflops is good, but then you run the, I wrote a little, uh, I wrote a PyTorch one, um, extra M1, whatever. It's an extra gem M1 PyTorch. Yeah, and PyTorch gets 7.1 teraflops. Um, now I think this is actually more like eight. Uh, oh, the camera's covering the terminals? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I missed only, okay, you missed a little, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah, PyTorch gets uh, eight teraflops and my thing only gets 3.7 teraflops, and that was actually after quite a bit of tweaking. So now for NVIDIA, we have beautiful, the way that I managed to make this work was I used NVIDIA's performance benchmarking tools. And NVIDIA has nice performance benchmarking tools. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, there's nice performance benchmarking tools. But uh, let, me, let me take a little bit to explain uh, why we are working on making things fast. So this is, if you're not in the uh, Discord, um, this is the Tiny Grad Discord. Uh, it's 100% on topic. If you go off topic in the Tiny Grad Discord, uh, it's, you know, you, you, you can't, um, don't do that. Uh, yeah, so like there's this thing called Triton, but Triton has two problems. One, it's uh, only in CUDA. And two, like I wrote the well, I remember, I wrote I started a Triton backend. Then let me let me credit who actually finished the Triton backend. Uh, I did not. Most of the Triton backend was not written by me. Um, let me. One one of the usual one of the usual contributors did it. Let's go to history here. Yeah, Mar Martin Loretz uh, really wrote most of the Triton backend. Uh, and the Triton backend does work, but it's slow. So then when you go to make the Triton backend fast, you find out that making Triton fast is not easy. Um, okay, so first off, what, what is Triton? We're going we're gonna to educate you people a little bit because, you know, it's, it's been a while. Welcome back to Tiny Corp. Uh, Triton is a thing for GPU programming. It's a little language. You can basically, the best way to think about Triton is like, if you think about um, OpenCL, OpenCL has a global kernel size and a local kernel size, and then the actual kernel. Triton kind of, when you write your kernel, you write it to be the whole local size, and it does all of that tuning for you. Um, it deals with like copying to SRAM automatically. Yes, Triton is supposed to do the uh, optimizations internally automatically, but unfortunately, it's very buggy, largely for historical reason. At OpenAI, there was a ton of pressure to get peak performance on complex kernels, and usually this required a lot of hacks. Uh, so yeah. Like, so here's how I like to think about a matrix multiply, right? Um, instead of using dot, which is very confusing to me, you can imagine it's just like, here's a square, that's one matrix, and the square is n by k. Then here's another matrix, k by n. All right, here's your n, here's your m. Um, you can take these two matrices and you can expand them out into a cube by broadcasting across that virtual dimension. And then you can sum this way and then you're left with the matrix here, right? Um, and also sum this way, you can say matrix down here. Uh, maybe it's transposed or something. But my point is like, when you write a matrix like that, when you write a matrix as two expands and then a sum, it's not fast anymore. You have to use tl dot. dot. And then like TL dot dot has operators like trans B, which will transpose the B matrix, but it doesn't work. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, Triton is not the future of, uh, 
unless it all gets like fixed up soon, I don't think, I think that Tiny Grad is going to beat them out. Um, my other main problem with Triton is that it only works on NVIDIA. Uh, and of course our goal with Triton, uh, our goal with uh, Tiny Grad is to target absolutely everything. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, you left, you're left with crap like this. This is pretty much the same kernel in CUDA and OpenCL. At least now I'm getting nine gigaflops. I wasn't getting nine gigaflops before. Um, I was only getting, I wonder what I did to change that. Uh, I was only getting uh, seven, but now I get nine. So that's great. But I still don't get 20. Um, can't we simply ditch these old school matrix multiplication algorithms and write one that is closer to O of n squared? Uh, you do that, bro. You do that and you will be the hero of the deep learning world. Um, oh, so this 20 is the same as Kublas pretty much. So this is Kublas. Now this is untuned Triton. Uh, and this is on the same size matrix. So Kublas is getting 21, close enough. Uh, Triton is getting 17, but I think Triton can get 20 as well if you tune it. Uh, and these are not using any of the uh, tensor cores because tensor cores don't operate in flow 32. So I I'm pretty happy with that. And like I went through all like the tricks to make it work good. Um, you have to use shared memory. There's, there's a really good blog post on this. CUDA matrix multiply 2021. Nah, some guy wrote a blog. Make make fast. Um, I have it over here. Hang on. How to optimize CUDA matrix multiplication. What? Google is so useless. It's this. I'll link it in the chat. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty good. So basically I implemented all these tricks in TinyGrad and it gets the same 20 teraflops. Uh, I don't know how they were getting 24 with Kublas. I think they have a different GPU than me. But why on, now, on CUDA that's great. I have a nice simple benchmark. Uh, I can read the PTX for NVIDIA's stuff. They have a great debugger tool. I don't have any of this on metal. I just have a bunch of crappy performance counters which actually turn out to be completely useless. So what we are going to do today is micro benchmarks. Uh, and this will be fun. Okay. The simple narrative taught in every history class is demonstrably false and pedagogically classist. CL micro benchmark dot pi. Um, I hope no one's out doing activism right now. You know, you know, you know. So there's a few things we're gonna want to benchmark. We're gonna want to benchmark the speed of global memory, the speed of, um, call it local memory, we'll use the OpenCL terminology, and we want to benchmark the uh, speed of FMAs. So from tinygrad.runtime.opencl import CL buffer, CL program. Uh, let's make a few buffers. 
I forget if I multiply by four or not. That's why I paused. Um, let's do something that definitely fits in. That will definitely fit in L2. Uh, okay, let's write a CL program. And what's my CL program going to do? We just need to read in all the memory. Um, yo, Hogwarts Legacy guy, you are the reason that we get subscriber only chat. Because let me explain who benefits. Who benefits from the Hogwarts Legacy drama? Who benefits? Activists and Hogwarts Legacy. That's right. And considering you are neither of those people, you are getting screwed. That's right. When the media tells you to hate your neighbor and your neighbor listens to other media that tells them to hate you, the media wins and both of you lose. Does everybody get it now? <laughs> Um, okay, um, let's Oh, yes, and because of stupid, you'll see we have to multiply by the OSX timing ratio because of... You guys know I don't actually know any programming and we have to just look at everything. We'll just copy and paste from here. Kernel. I'm not sure. You know what? I probably shouldn't put the name in there. Because the name's already in there. And that's even worse. Uh, what should we call it? Test. That's a good name. That will never be confusing. This is only one thing you'd ever want to call test, right? Uh, what? How did that even happen? One day I'll learn how tools work. Um, okay, now of course we're going to want to put in a. Uh, so something like that. None. A.CL. We got 8,000. That's not over 9,000. I don't think that's actually good speed. Um, okay, and then this is measured in nanoseconds, which is actually a totally useless... Um, we're gonna measure it instead in US. Turns US. Okay. Well, actually, let's first just measure um, kernel launch. Um, 
uh, let's say multi benchmark prog n equals 10. Let's call this MB. Okay, 7.5 US. Uh, that's like the minimum for one kernel. Let's see if I, all right, let's try some numbers here. Uh, for I in range, no, I want it to multiply by. Let's just say 10. Uh, okay, let's say size equals i times times two, size time. Empty kernel launch. Size divided by TM, no. Time divided by US per kernel. And, okay, let's go. Invalid global work size. Uh, it's because you can't start with zero. Okay. Oh, that is not what I meant to write. I meant to write that. And then you can start at zero. Okay, well, that turns out not to matter. So cool. It looks like it just takes a fixed amount of time, regardless of. Or it does eventually start to get slower. Should we make graphs? Do we want graphs, boys? What do we think of graphs? Should we be doing this in a notebook? I feel like this is a notebook kind of thing. I feel like there's ways to like make notebooks. Should we do this in a notebook? Do we want a notebook? What do we think? Notebook? Jupiter, okay, fine. Um, new file, CL, no, then my Vim doesn't work good. Never mind, I don't know. Okay, we'll note that it starts to get slower at some point. Um, 24. Make this nanoseconds. <coughs> Pretty cool, right? So that's just to launch an empty kernel. So what's interesting is this kind of tells us something about the GPU. This tells us something about the maximum number of, um, maybe it doesn't. Well, let's try this. That's crazy that that makes no difference. If anything, it made it faster.
No, 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 no. We're, we're on, this is actually the Mac. We're, we're, on the, we're on the Mac. This is an M1, uh, it's an M1 Max. Can I disable scaling? What's scaling? Uh, it's not that. That's not making it slow. Everyone said the power scaling doesn't matter. Does that matter? Mm, in no real noticeable way. Okay. No, it, it's not that. Okay. Let's try. benchmarks more micro what do you think wait I don't understand the fuck okay why is this one faster than this one all right all right all right how do I disable power scaling never mind you're right I don't trust power scaling I'm plugged in. Oh, uh, what is this? Is like power something? Power metrics? Uh, if you find a way to do this, I will uh, happily do it. But for now, I don't see why. Interesting that these are all okay. Um, let's let's get some facts about the M1 Max GPU. Do I have a Max or a Pro? I, I can't keep these things straight. Okay. Um, M1 Max. 32 core GPU. Uh, threads per core. Okay. In total, the M1 GPU contains each GPU core. Each GPU core is split into 16 execution units, which each contain eight arithmetic logic units. Okay, where's the button to turn it off? Yeah, there's no copy and paste to turn it off. 
you know I only like things that are easy. Okay, um, but, okay, so each, but this doesn't say anything about how many, uh, in total, the M1 max contains 512 execution units. But then, like, they have warps, which is on top of this. Okay, so the basic rudimentary uh, idea of a GPU is, okay, a GPU has, okay, 16 execution units, but you can think of a GPU like which execution unit is scheduled uh, you have a lot more running that are actually scheduled at the current time, and you do this to do latency hiding for the memory. Um, did I try not running OBS? Oh, sorry, guys, I gotta go. No, it doesn't matter. It's close enough. <laughs> None of this shit matters. It's just interesting that, like... You know what? Make it like that. Every politician, every fish in the sea protects the interests of the pedophilic corporate elite. It does seem like the break is like right here, which would mean each, yeah, each GPU can handle people like reverse engineered this stuff. They did a really good job. Uh, who's this? Alyssa Rosenwig. Uh, did a good job starting to reverse engineer this uh, GPU. And they have like a driver. Unfortunately, they abandoned their uh, decompiler. Yeah, the Asahi people, yeah. Um. Let's just keep going with this. What if we just keep going? Starts to scale the way you expect with a bit of weirdness around here. Let's try this. 
global float a uh, a sub oh now unfortunately we're gonna have trouble with these things being unused is there something like market or what will it trick it We'll just try to copy. We'll name these things appropriately. I don't like that I have to put the name in there twice. It's kind of a bug in the API. Call this copy. Copy. Uh, a sub get global get okay, global id zero. A sub zero equals sub GID equals B sub GID. Um, and this can only go to 20. That's very fast. I don't think it's actually that fast. Is that you working? Oh, wait, no, 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 this should work. Why shouldn't that work? How are the empty kernels? That doesn't make any sense. How are the empty kernels the same speed as the global memory? That doesn't make any sense. We're waiting for it to finish. feel like it's just lying to me and running the wrong program. Or just not running anything and none of these are working. I should be able to say debug equals two. That should work, right? Because we're using that. No, this doesn't make any sense. How is a kernel that does something the same speed as a kernel that does nothing? Okay, let's first off see if this is actually making any sense. Uh, okay, so if we want gigabytes per second, we have size in gigabytes divided by time in seconds, and those cancel out. Oh, 
It's like not fast, bro. Okay. So maybe like it's all just overhead. Uh, well, let's make this all bigger and see if we run into any differences. Okay, well this is actually, okay, this is wrong because it's, we need to multiply that by four. But those are all still very reasonable bandwidths for my thing. Uh, this is how much? Eight megabytes? We can go bigger than that. And let's keep NS per kernel. And we'll just add that. Reverse the order of the size. Why? Because you're worried about caching? I'm doing caching explicitly. Same. Okay. Well, we've learned something today. Yeah, it looks cooler. I agree it looks cooler upside down. Everyone always starts their benchmark at the top. Um, so this is actually within the amount of memory we have. Uh, so that's within the amount of memory bandwidth we have. So maybe it's just not broken. Um, now oh, okay finally it got a little slower okay uh, this is stupidly small let's just go down to one so nothing changes between Uh, I will also point out that we should multiply this by two because that's there's read and write. Um, okay, these numbers make a lot more sense. So this is with nothing in cache. Uh, the by the way, the stated bandwidth is 400 uh, gigabytes per second. Uh, M1 max memory bandwidth. So I got a little treat for you guys. Um, let's make sure we aren't allocating crazy amounts of memory here. Uh, what is this in normal people sizes? using eight gigabytes. That's too much for where we're going. Of course, we can casually use eight gigabytes on my uh, my huge thing, but okay, two gigabytes. Okay, I mean, we still see all the behaviors. We'll use one gigabyte. So I'll show you what I have over here.
This is a comma three. Uh, let's see how it does. So for reference, the comma three should. Well, CL buffer has no attribute CL. Oh, invalid buffer size. What? Okay, well, not everybody gets to use a lot of, okay, good, look at that. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much exactly what we thought we'd get. Uh, let's see what the max I'm actually allowed to use is. Can I do that? Great. That's cool, guys. So when you look up, uh, the comma three is based on a Snapdragon 845 memory bandwidth. Twenty nine, and we get twenty four. Uh, I think it's downclocked on the comma three. Actually, I think we downclocked it for. Uh, and one gig was too much, so we're gonna limit it to. Why didn't that multiply nicely? I don't know. You know what's you know what's disgusting? The numbers after the floating points. Whenever they give me like all those significant figures. Uh, yeah, we clocked out for temps. Uh, yeah. Well, so the problem is not actually temps. The Comet Three has a great cooling solution, uh, but the problem is well, it's 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 thermal dissipation. So the the chip is underneath the RAM. It's a package on package, so you can't pull heat quickly enough out of the chip. So even though the fan is cold, the temperature differential uh, is, is there's, there's too much thermal resistance to pull heat out of the chip fast enough to run it at its full speed. Um, so yeah, this is a limitation of all like package on package kind of things. Uh, but yeah, the comma three runs, and we also want the comma threes to not die like the comma twos. So uh, yeah. Um, okay, cool. I like my micro benchmark so far. Uh, and you can see this one's a lot slower than just the uh, empty launches of the kernel. When does this hit its break? 496? That's interesting. <coughs> like, I wonder if this would make it faster. No, we're 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 over in the we're 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 over we're past where it should be, so it's it can't be faster than that. Probably actually can be though. Probably do something like this. Okay, that's slower.
Why is that slower? Does that make sense? I, I, I did that right, didn't I not? I just put four of them in the kernel instead of one. And that just got way slower. That shouldn't matter. Oh, you know what that has to do with? Oh, that has to do with coalescing. Interesting. Okay, so thank you, thank you for your contribution to the Tiny Corp. Welcome, Hype Train. Uh, I bet you that's due to memory coalescing. So, I don't know. Okay, whatever, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, let's get the speed of local memory. Now, how are we gonna get this? This one's gonna be harder to get. Uh, we should also play with this a little bit. Is that okay? Does that work fine? Okay, that works fine. What if I go to one here? Okay, it really just does not care. Anything the other one was faster. Okay. Speed of local memory. Um so we'll start with this. Let's say float lmem sub 256 uh, lmem sub lid equals b sub gid. Actually, you know what? I'll do something a little different. No, nah, but then, no, nah, that's stupid. Either way. Just for consistency, we should really put those arguments in there, all right? Uh, local keyword 
You're right, I do need the local keyword. Like that. But I still think that's not doing anything because I don't actually use it and it like knows. These stupid compilers are smart and do like analysis and shit to know when like you didn't do it. So, uh, okay, for int i equals zero, uh, i less than 256, i plus plus, let's just throw a quick reduce in here. Float for ack equals zero, uh, ack plus equals lmem sub i. So a few things, we should actually probably check to see if that's like I wrote the right algorithm. I think I did. Either way, each one of the kernels is doing 256 local memory read. Okay. That seems somewhat plausible to me. I will note that they're all reading the same one. Probably don't want to do that. Okay, but they still should be Coalesced, I think. <coughs> Seems pretty right. The problem is if you're reading the same one in every thread, it doesn't actually have to do a read. But like that should be That should be like complete with the uh... I also don't need to read from B here. I should be able to say something like four. Yeah, okay, I get the same thing, cool. Uh, just as a little thing, we can do a dot, I think I called it two CPU. Now what's it called? The CL buffer, I want to do copy out. That's a little annoying. To create the NP array, okay, fine. Yeah, well, I'm gross. It's terrible. So what should these all equal? One or two, four? One or two, four, there you go. Except, it should just be one of them. <laughs> uh, 
What? What did I do wrong? Empty dot empty shape. Invalid value. Oh. by default. What are zeros at the end there? I don't actually go to max. Oh, this can be max minus one, okay. Undo is broken in, I don't know, I don't want to talk about it, okay. Um, that seems like a good way to get at the local memory, right? For some reason, it gets me double the bandwidth if I do this. how we're doing over on the uh on the commentary. Oh that's brutally slow. <laughs> oh that's terrible. Wow this thing has dog shit local memory bandwidth. And that's even the fast way. We try it on NVIDIA.
Wow. Wow. Look who the goat is. We know who the goat is. It's NVIDIA. Look at those goat speeds. Look at those goat speeds, boys. Mm, not the goat, Qualcomm. The goat, NVIDIA, Apple. Boom. To be fair, to be fair, we should, we have to consider, uh, you know, some of these chips uh, had, a, had a harder upbringing. Uh, some of these chips didn't have the same resources. Some of these chips don't have access to the same resources that the other chips have. So, so we have to, of course, take that into consideration when we decide if we should let them into college or not. Um, no, they, it's, it is true though that they, this chip only has uh, a couple watts. This chip has a lot of watts and this chip has a medium amount of watts. Wow, look at that, look at that, look at that one. That's just such a beautiful number. Ugh. You know what? That number is so beautiful that we have to add an extra. That we have to add an extra decimal point just just for Nvidia. Nvidia, you're the reason that this seven becomes an eight. Congratulations. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, no, that's actually terrible. That's the local memory speed. Okay, um, let's try FMAs. Make some registers. Vote for it can't know that they're all the same, can it? Can you please run with pi OpenCL compiler output? Which one? Oh, this one? Sorry. Let's see what it says. Probably whines about something stupid. Program not built. Uh, that doesn't seem like anything real. It says the word pass. Okay. Mm, we'll keep our loop uh, plus. make some of them B's and some of them R's just so they can fight and then we can have you know just just like let's divide the people between the B's and the R's uh, for no real reason just just to get them riled up man and then they'll never turn against us you know if, as long as we keep the people divided and fighting amongst themselves they will never realize that we rule the world Um, okay, so how many FMAs is it per kernel? It's four because it's float four times 16. Okay, two flops equals two because it's FMA 
times four because it's float I wish Python had inline comments. FMA float four. Um, statements loop. Pretty good. Does that match what we expect? That is how the world works. I mean, that's what we expect, right? We're supposed to get, you know, that's four bajillion teraflops. You can't know that these are weird, right? Can't know they're the same. Can't be that smart. Don't stop being smart. Is this how you played Dwarf Fortress? Would I be good at that? See how many we get for NVIDIA. That's, wow, dude, this works great. That's like pretty much exactly what we'd expect. Um, I should have told you beforehand what we'd expect so you guys wouldn't just think I'm pulling shit out of my ass, but it's a 3080 Ti G-Flops. So uh, we're expect to see 34.1 and we get 30. That's pretty good. This one we expect to see 10.4. And we see close to that. And for this one, now this is the one I think is not gonna work. It's 737 in theory, but uh, the, this is Qualcomm, and you know, you gotta grade them on a curve because they had a hard upbringing, guys. And their local memory is really slow, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, 582, not bad. It's supposed to be 737. Well, that's like the, 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 the roof line. Wow. I didn't expect this to work so well. Okay. Now the only question is, why aren't your uh, matrix multiplies getting that crazy high speed? And the answer is because you're a bitch. <laughs> that is how the world works. In honor of it working actually pretty well, we'll let the non-subscribers talk for a little bit. Um, okay. So let's talk about local memory and why that one sucks. Be 
just saying if I do this, right? Is there anything else we want to test? Uh, I don't know. What else do we want to test? Does doing open CL have the same paradigm as? Uh, CUDA warped and threads, kind of. Um, so I don't really understand. I, I just learned about CUDA warps like a couple days ago, but OpenCL has the basic idea of like you have your global grid and your local grid, and then your local grid is uh, what you call a. This is the closest thing to a CUDA warp. Um, Uh, whoa, this is, this is so cool. <laughs> you guys should try it on, uh, try it on your computer at home. Go try, go try my CL micro benchmark. I really don't think there's anything else I want to test. Yeah, okay, so then we can get into, like, bank conflicts. Well, here's something kind of interesting. Oh, well, let's let's first try this. I don't. This doesn't matter here. There is no local here, so we can get rid of that. And that barrier can go too. Oh, wait! I didn't even edit it on that computer. Okay, never mind. That's completely fake. I was like, why did it get faster? I was concerned that it cheated. Do you know what we do to cheaters around here? Why does it not get fast until we get here? That's a crazy size. Couple minute break, and then we'll do some. Then we'll then we'll dive, dive into striding and stuff. But you guys already saw the cool part of the stream. You know what? That was the cool part of the stream. Um, what branch am I in? I'm in the fast Triton branch. Uh, do we want to see more struggle? How many viewers we got? Nah, 254 viewers. That was a good standalone stream. Uh, cool. We wrote CL micro benchmarks. They measure your FMAs, they measure your global memory, and they measure your local memory. 